Hey everyone, Lolo here. Today, we're diving into a heated political debate involving Minnesota Governor Tim Walz and Ohio Senator J.D. Vance. The topic, accusations of stolen ballot. Let's break it down. First, a bit of background. Tim Walz served 24 years in the Army National Guard, retiring in 2005 as a command sergeant major. That's the highest enlisted rank in his unit. With the Iraq war intensifying, Walls chose to retire to focus on his young family and pursue a political career. His retirement sparked controversy, especially with J.D. Vance, who criticized the timing and questioned Walls' military service. So what's the fuss about? Vance, a former Marine with service in Iraq, has accused Walsh of misrepresenting his military experience. Vance labels this as stolen valor, implying Walsh is falsely claiming military achievements for political gain. This term is serious. It suggests someone is dishonestly taking credit for combat experience or honors they didn't earn. Vance's main argument revolves around Walsh's use of the phrase in war when discussing his military service. He claims Walz uses this to imply direct combat experience, which, according to Vance, is inaccurate. Walz did carry a weapon during his service, including a deployment to Italy for Operation Enduring Freedom, but there's no evidence he saw direct combat. To add to the confusion, Walz's retirement rank is also under scrutiny. He retired officially as a Master Sergeant, despite previously holding the rank of Command Sergeant Major. This discrepancy has led to claims of inconsistency in his military record. Now, let's talk about the defenses. Waltz's supporters argue that his retirement was above board. According to Joseph Eustace, a fellow retired Command Sergeant Major who served with Waltz, there were no official deployment orders for their unit at the time of Walz's retirement. Eustace highlighted Walz's internal conflict between serving in the military and his desire to influence politics. Additionally, veteran groups and fellow service members have pointed out that the majority of National Guard members do not see direct combat. They emphasize that Walz's service, including his deployment to support operations, was legitimate and honorable. In response to the accusations, Walz has acknowledged that while he carried a weapon during wartime, he did not experience combat as directly as others. He has consistently advocated for veterans' rights, reinforcing his commitment to serve his country in different capacities. Meanwhile, Vance's own military experience has come under the microscope. Although he served in Iraq, his memoir reveals he didn't engage in direct combat either. This fact has led some to question the validity and motivation behind his accusations against Waltz. In the end, this controversy highlights how military service can become a political battleground. The accusations of stolen valor against Walls have divided opinions, not only among the general public, but also within the veteran community in Congress. So what's the truth? It seems like a mix of genuine service, political strategy, and perhaps a bit of misunderstanding. What's clear? is that military service in all its forms deserves respect and careful consideration, especially in the political arena. Thanks for tuning in, folks. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more deep dives into the latest political stories. Until next time, stay informed.